Lake Windermere, England's biggest natural lake, is one of the country's most popular rural tourist attractions in the summer months. And when the sun shines, it's a picture postcard of an English summer's day, with the clear blue water lapping up on the lake's lazy shores and the leisure boats scattered about its broad blue horizon. But this year, which has been one of England's hottest and driest in history, a certain stink is in the air, and the lake isn't all that blue. The stench has been caused by a toxic blue-green algae, which, according to recent tests collected by a local campaigner, exceeds the guidelines of the World Health Organization. Despite the concern, which has gone viral on social media, many businesses in the area are trying to downplay the presence of the toxic blue-green algae, labeling those who question the lake's current environmental health as scaremongers. Blue-green algae forms when the phosphate levels of water are high. This is more common in the warmer, drier and stabler months of summer. But many attribute a sizable portion of the blame to local water company United Utilities, which is currently allowed to dump thousands of litres of sewage into the lake whenever heavy rains cause its storage tanks to become overwhelmed. However, the lake has been a concern for environmentalists for decades now. They point out that Lake Windermere has suffered from what is called nutrient enrichment for at least two centuries. Nutrient enrichment results in an increase in algal blooms and bodies of water, which in turn results in its becoming deoxygenated, that is, depleted of oxygen. Environmentalists attribute excessive nutrient enrichment and deoxygenation to the warm and dry conditions in which algae thrive. And these warm and dry conditions are becoming more common due to climate change. But despite who or what is to blame for the current crisis at Lake Windermere, what is clear for many experts is that both human activity and the climate crisis are disrupting the natural balance of the region's beloved natural ecosystems, leading to unforeseen and unpleasant consequences. Unfortunately, such environmental crises are not limited to the Lake District or to England, but are affecting many regions across Europe. Just last summer, an environmental catastrophe befell Spain's Mar Menor, a saltwater lagoon in Spain's southeastern Mercia region, which is popular with both locals and foreign tourists alike. Thousands of fish washed up on its shores throughout the height of summer, to the dismay and horror of locals and visitors who come to enjoy its usually crystal clear waters. Marmanor is the largest saltwater lagoon of its kind in Europe, and in the summer of 2021, locals and tourists were prohibited from swimming in several areas due to the environmental disaster unfolding in the lagoon. The crisis was caused by intensive farming in the area, resulting in an excess of nutrients in the water owing to the presence of agricultural fertilizers. As with the nutrient enrichment of England's Lake Windermere, this depletes the water of oxygen, which native marine species depend on for life. Tragically, close to five tons of asphyxiated dead fish were recovered from the saltwater lagoon. Horrified by the environmental catastrophe in this unique part of the world, in August of last year, 700,000 people gathered to form a human chain on the coastline of the lagoon, calling on authorities to safeguard the delicate environmental harmony of this unique natural ecosystem. Throughout the continent, there is a sense of unease, a sense that Europe's most treasured beauty spots are under threat from both excessive human activity in the short and medium term and the climate crisis in the long term. And with an increase in environmental awareness among younger voters and constituents, politicians are well aware of the need to put both the climate and the environment on their agendas. Despite their political orientation, what is becoming increasingly clear for voters across the continent is the need to properly regulate human activity such as excessive agriculture 
and the urgency of mitigating the long-term effects of the climate crisis, which is resulting in more frequent and intense heat waves and more prolonged and severe droughts, both of which are taking their toll on Europe's most treasured ecosystems. That's all for today, but what do you think about the current environmental crisis in Lake Windermere and elsewhere in Europe? And do you know of any crises unfolding close to you? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed today's video, remember to subscribe to the channel today so you can be ready for Europe's weather tomorrow.